Oh! I'm back. Yes, it is a ladder. I'm going to stop playing this game, it's so good. Play the best game in the big enough binge zone, you get a bit tired of it. When I got back into Fallout 4, they started, like, I got it modded nicely, but I got a bit annoyed with it. I was trying to, like, in the loading screen, there's a picture of, like, oh, fucking joking, aren't we? If I load it. There's a um a picture of someone wearing a full suit of armor and they got like this hood underneath it. I was like, Oh I like that hood. So then shit. So then I loaded Um I loaded up a mod so you could actually wear the hood at the same time as the armor and then it made the helmet shit because I had like a flashlight mod for it and stuff. And then I ended up in this like little mod hell. I did used to do that a lot with Skyrim and Oblivion and shit as well. I'd spend more time modding the game than playing it but enjoy it though more <laughs> as much if not more than actually playing the game which is a bit strange it's just really satisfying when you got it looking really nice and like games like Oblivion and Morrowind when you got it running nicely it's just very satisfying because oh dear am I gonna die down here Yeah, this looks like a trap to me. Oh, whoops. What a pain in the ass. Gotta go back up that fucking ladder again. No. Uh. No. I gotta remember to save before I do stuff like that. These ladders are punishments. If I stay like right by the edge. Peter? No secrets. Hmm. Why not? We should fight that a bit. That was a bit shallow as well. Hmm. Seems safe. Right, this is going to be fun. Three, two, what they could do to fuck you up is change the timing on one of them. rewarded with more keys perhaps. Oh yeah, I did have that other silver key, I wonder what that opened. More keys the better. Yeah, I remember this level being fucky, because I remember getting to the end of it and being like, what the fuck do I do, kind of thing. Hopefully he wins this bout. If you think I can't spot a fucking pushy wall by now. Go on mate, you can do it. That noise is grim when he cuts him. And the pain. Give him the spaghetti cannon, go on. I'll, I'll kite him for you. He was a man of peace and religion. 
Well, I don't know if he's a man of peace and religion, actually. Well, I suppose they both had weapons. Uh, court adjourned, I think. Get my mind up about that. So this room had fuck off. This guy who deserves the spaghetti cannon. Trademark that mate, fucking fuck you machine. Prayer wheel. I remember these. They represent the 16,000 uh, great abominations of the Buddhism. I know what I'm talking about. Right. And I have fucked myself. Or not. Ha! Give me the survivor. In fact, I'll save on that other slot as well. Just for the safety. Nice to have a little backup. Don't have to do the whole fucking level again. Oh. Leather. Burn your face with a flare where you climb up and grunt. Ah, here we are. So I've got a prayer wheel and the main hall key, so I'll open that up. I know exactly where that is. It was that big double door down the bottom. That'll let me onto the bottom floor of the monastery. And I can explore some more. Very sore doing all that body grinding on the wall. Like these purple corridors as well. This is pretty, this place. Doesn't feel all abandoned and old and dusty. I think nice and clean. No checks there. Uh oh. Sorry, concentrating there. <laughs> Is a very beautiful. Oh, well. I'm gonna admire the Buddha a bit more then. Uh -huh. Oh, nice! All the best shit. Uh -huh. Stealing out their socks, their little snow-covered booties. Yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. Awesome, isn't it? I like the big scrunched-up face. Oh, you look at me today. My crossed legs, my big golden physique. You're jealous of me. Mm. Well, I will save it, and that's another ten minutes. Do look, doop doop, bye, bye, bye.